Why can't everybody just leave Dave alone? Leave him alone. Just leave him alone. What's up, friends and fam? It's your man Z with Our Reviews Will Kill You. And yet again, we are talking about Dave Chappelle, the rabble rouser, the true general of disaster. He's causing trouble everywhere. Apparently, you can't even take a picture with the man or you will be destroyed. So Pat Oswalt, I don't understand. This story is ridiculous, okay? So it appears that on the New Year's Eve, Dave Chappelle and Pat, uh, Pat, uh, D- Dave asked Pat Oswald, who he's known for 34 years, to come and do a, a, a set with him, you know? <laughs> and they took a picture together, right? And now, how the mighty have fallen. And it was such a nice post. He's just like finished me set at McCall Hall, got a text from Dave Chappelle, come over to the arena he's performing in next door and do a guest set. Why not? Let's go to a, you know, let's go to an arena, right? And uh, he calls Dave a genius. And then he uh, had a deep laugh with a real friend. Can't ask for much more. Less than 24 hours. Hold on. Let's see some more. Look at these pictures. Look, they're walking down the hall. They're taking pictures with other people. You know, looks great, right? Look at this. He's on a big giant screen. Exciting, right? Less than 24 hours. This is him penning his apology. Come on, man. Grow some huevos. Get a spine, man. Uh, First of all, I have never written an apology in my entire life. And I sure as heck aren't going to break out a yellow pad and paper so that I could sit there and scribble out... (laughs) What am I going to do for my apology? Because this is very, very hurtful. Let's see if we can we can read some of said apology. I don't know. There's a lot going on here. And uh, he wrote an entire, <laughs> an entire apology. Let's see. Let's see here. I saw a friend. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but let's see if we can shorten it up there. He's refocused and refined his ideas a lot and took us uh, and took as settled about race and history and life on earth and spun them around in phrases or punchline. But we've done good or bad gigs, open mics and TV tapings, but we also 100% disagree about transgender rights and representation. I am confusion. What exact, can anyone ever tell me exactly what Dave Chappelle said that was so offensive? I'm just confused. I feel like Dave said that he supports their rights, and I feel like he had a friend that he told a very poignant story about in The Closer, so I'm confused. Where is this uh, coming from? Please enlighten me, because it doesn't say it in here in his apology. Here, I think I can even slide this over a little bit so we can take a better look. Okay. So he goes, uh, for all things, he's helped me evolve on. I'll always disagree with where he stands now on transgender issues. But I also don't be- but I also don't believe a seeker like him is done evolving, learning. You know someone this long or that long, see the struggles, the changes. He's been he's felt guilty about the friends he's cut off whose views he didn't agree with. I'm pretty sure he's pretty outspoken about everything. He's an ally, a loyal friend. Anyone who ever tells you an ally, you know, ask the, uh, I'm trying to think, who's ask the Russians whether or not Germany was a good ally. You'll see what, look it up, you'll see. Not good ally. So I don't trust any allies. He says he's a loyal friend, (laughs) but what's he apologizing for? That he took a picture? Like, what did he, what did Patton Oswalt do that he needed to take a picture of. And I know there's going to be people, he's like, he deleted posts from the comments from the, the best thing you can do, man, is you put up a picture. <laughs> like, look, as soon as you see starts putting stuff up there, what a backstabbing friend you are. 
Uh, it's just people saying, saying he's a racist. He's a beta. Like, come on, dude. All you had to do was ignore. Ignore Twitter. Twitter is not the real world. This is exactly what Dave was talking about. Dave said in his special, people get upset in Twitter about things that are not the real world. Don't take it to heart. If you're a celebrity and people criticize you, you move on. What are you going to do? You can't worry about it. You can't let people you don't know bother you about things. It's just not a way to live life. See, he's a verified blue check mark. See that? Pat Oswald, verified blue check mark. That means he's important and must apologize for taking a picture that's right friends this is where we have gone ay, ay, ay. and he admitted later that he deleted negative comments oh my gosh maybe I should clutch some of my pearls so uh, let's see on twitter as a trans person and a fan of your work this is extremely disappointing you've been open to your about your journey towards more em empathetic comedy so could I could, so I ask you please think about how this makes your trans fans feels what a picture a picture is that what that does it's just ridiculous I find that all these people overreactors and uh, can you verify who this person who gave you this critical comment is there's all sorts of people pretending to be people they aren't supposed to be there's people pretending to be professors and people pretending to be all sorts of things how am I supposed to? Why are you taking criticism for someone you've never met when you have your friend that did you one of the world's greatest favors? He asked you to perform on a stage, a stage that you could never ever fill in your entire life. This man invited you up there, and now you're apologizing for taking a picture with him and doing a show with him. For shame! I shame you! I shame you! No, I don't even care that much. I'm just saying, hypocrisy. You gotta love it, right? So that's the tale. Pat Oswald, I wouldn't say he's backstabbing his friend. I think that's a little extreme, but he, you know, this apology is not going to be enough. It's never enough apology. There's not enough apology in the world to make everybody happy. Just be happy with yourself and who you are and be happy that we have people like Dave Chappelle out there, who's a great, fantastic creator. Um, you, I mean, even Pat Oswald, for people who don't like him, the dude does some funny voices. Like, I've enjoyed some of his stints on things. Like, I'm not going to hate the guy just because he made an apology either. So, think about it, folks. But uh, make sure you tune into our full length audio podcast. We would really appreciate that. You can get it for free anywhere Stitcher, Spotify, all those fantastic places. We live stream Friday nights, 7 30 p.m. Be there. It is a ton of fun. We like to party down and uh, interact with us. Uh, tell me what you think. Are you mad at Pat Oswald? Are you going to write him an apology letter for him apologizing? Let me know because maybe I should apologize. I don't know. But as for myself, I'm on to the next one.